I am Professor Chitraleka Mohanta from Electronics and Electrical Engineering Department, IIT Guwahati. I will be offering a course on MOOC platform. The name of the course is Basic Electronics, Fundamentals and Application. So, as the name suggests, this course will be about the fundamentals of electronics and application of these fundamental concepts in circuits which are used in many devices. So, the fundamental concepts of electronics will be started from the semiconductor device which is intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor based on which you have P and diode then transistor and BJT. BJT means bipolar junction transistors. So, all these devices are based upon the concept of semiconductor technology. Now, the starting of this course will be with semiconductor and then the course will proceed to discuss diode transistor, then FET that is field effect transistor and finally, we will be discussing the power circuit applications like power BJTs and other types of power amplifiers. So, the course will be basically divided into five broad topics and the topics will be semiconductor diodes, bipolar junction transistors, field effect transistors, operational amplifiers and power circuits and systems. Under each of this topic again it will be exhaustively discussed about various subtopics which are related under that main topic. For example, under semiconductor diode when I say there will be various subtopics like first of all as I said semiconductor materials intrinsic and extrinsic, then inter ideal diode, the characteristics like V i characteristic of P n diode and the characteristics under open circuit condition as well as when you are biasing the P n diode with forward and reverse bias and then what will happen under breakdown and then we will be also discussing the small signal equivalent model of the diode as well as general diode and its applications and then we will be discussing the application of diodes in various circuits like clipping circuit, clamping circuit and rectifier circuits etcetera and similarly application of Zener diode in regulator circuits. So, as you see there here the fundamental concepts are first of all discussed and then based upon that fundamental concepts whatever devices are made we will be basically also studying the application of these fundamental concepts in practical circuits. Similarly, we will be discussing BJT bipolar junction transistors. So, first of all the physical operation of transistor how the current flows in a transistor that will be first of all discussed from physics point of view and then we will be discussing about the different operating modes of the or reasons of the transistor like active mode of operation, saturation and then cutoff modes. And also we will be discussing about the different transistor configurations like common base, common collector, common emitter transistor configurations. Then we will be discussing about the biasing methods, how the transistors are biased. So, biasing methods as we will see later are different biasing methods. For faithful amplification of a signal, what type of biasing we will have to uh, use that we will be discussing in details. And also the, <coughs> the operation of the transistor under high frequency. When you operate a transistor under high frequency, how the frequency effects are coming into the picture and affecting the transistor's operation that we will be discussing in details. Similarly, next we will be discussing about field effect transistors. First of all the structure and physical operation of FET uh, like enhancement type MOSFET, then VI characteristics of MOSFET we will be discussing and then MOSFET when it is used as an amplifier, how it is used as an amplifier, what happens or how the amplification is possible that we will be discussing and also then biasing of the MOSFET amplifiers, common gate, common source etcetera 
and also high frequency operation of the MOSFET amplifier we will be discussing and also ZFET junctional field effect transistor will be also discussed. And then we will be going to op amps. Operational amplifier is one device which is extensively used in many applications right from arithmetic circuits, amplifiers and many others. So, you have to first of all know how the op amp operates, what is the ideal op amp, what are the ideal op amp characteristics and what is the difference with practical op amp and then use of op amp in different circuits as I mentioned like arithmetic circuits, summer, subtractor and also as comparator, then as amplifiers, inverting, non-inverting type amplifiers and then also in instrumentation circuits how amp, this op amp is used, those will be discussed from application point of view. And then we will be also discussing about the uh, control sources and waveform generators with op amps. And lastly, we will be discussing about the power, power circuits and systems like power BJTs are used in power circuits and also we will be discussing different types of large signal amplifiers like under class A, class B, class AB type of operation of power amplifiers. And lastly, we will be discussing a special type of diode which is known as PNPN diode or four layer diode. And the basics of this PNPN diode will be discussed and then the silicon control rectifier SCR as it is told we will be discussing under this topic. So, this is broadly the different topics that we will be discussing, fundamental concepts we will be discussing and an applications we will be also going into. But the main objective of this course is to make the course self learning and self evaluative. After you learn each topic, you will have ample scope or chance to test whether you are following the topics or the concepts correctly or not. For that, we will be providing ample examples, questions, assignments, problems etcetera for you to solve after each topic is discussed. And also, you will be knowing the answers to it and you can check whether you are following the concept correctly or not, whether you are able to solve a particular problem correctly or not, that will be possible because the correct solution, correct answers will be uploaded. But the basic important thing is that you have to attempt all those questions, problems you will have to try to solve, assignments you will have to try to do and that important feature is provided in this MOOC course and that will make your learning self independent and, and after learning each concept you can immediately try attempt all those questions and try the problems to make sure whether your learning is correctly following or not. And if there is any problem or you are not correctly getting into the solution, there are also all those solutions which will be uploaded which you can see and check where you have gone wrong. So, the main <coughs> feature of this course will be more interaction with the learners that is it, the course will be more interactive in nature that is the importance of this MOOC course. And study aids or study materials as I have mentioned already will be in the form of questions maybe multiple objective type questions or fill in the blank type of questions and also some homework problems which you can try in your home and also many many assignments will be given for practicing. So, all those will be aiding your uh, learning to make the learning very very effective and make you sure that you are following it. So, emphasis will be given on self evaluation and the problem solving skill will be encouraged. After learning each fundamental concept, 
you should be able to solve the problems. And so, repeated solving of the problems will be encouraged, so that you develop the problem solving skill quite well. So, after you go through the course, you will be in a position to solve and answer all those important questions, problems etcetera. And of course, somebody who is not able to follow it or who has some problems, the solutions which will be uploaded after the completion of a topic or a concept that will be helping you in following the steps in a detailed manner. So, the benefit of the course will be that you will be able to learn it on your own, test it and then evaluate yourself also. And one more important thing I would like to mention here is that no prerequisites will be required for learning this course. As this is a basic electronics course, so we expect learners to start from scratch of electronics and follow the course gradually. So, that is an important uh, point is that we are not keeping any prerequisites for learning this course. And as I mentioned self evaluation and self testing will be aided in this course to a very large extent. And lastly, I would like to also mention here is that this course has a, a feature, feature of awarding certificate. So, certification provision is there in the course. Those people who want to register for certification, they can do it of course, it is optional and this certification will add value to the course and the procedure will be uh, clear later on how this uh, certification will be done, but the certification will be done based on examination which will be evaluating your performance in the course and accordingly certification will be provided. So, that is another important aspect of this course. And now, I would like to tell you about the books and references which you may keep with you. The first book that is Electronic Devices and Circuit Theory by R. L. Boylstead and L. Nashelsky and it is by Pearson Education. This book is covering the all the topics in great details. So, this book if you keep with you, it will be great help for your learning. And the next book Electronic Circuit Analysis and Design by D. A. Newman, Neiman, uh, second edition 2012 Tata Magro Hill. This book is extensively discussing many examples and you can, you can try those examples and check the answers given in the book. So, that you make sure that you are following the concept correctly. So, the two books will be an aid for your learning and out of these two books at least the first book is covering all the topics which are there in this basic electronics fundamentals and application course extensively and in detail. Thank you.